Today's video is about how I had an easy labor and birth. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say that my labor was effortless or that it didn't have its challenging moments. You know, um, there were some challenges and it, there were moments that were intense, but I would say overall that I had a very easy labor and honestly, this labor and delivery with my latest child, with my son, makes me want to do it again. Like, I'm just like, oh my God, that's so easy. I can have a ton more children <laughs> because it was really, really easy. And um, it was so easy, it amazed me that it could be like that. So I wanted to talk about some of the things I think contributed to that. And um, this is really a response to I put out a picture of um, myself my husband and our newborn son and um, I posted it on social media and a lot of people emailed me or called me and asked me how in the world I look so good right after giving birth um, one of the one of my friends commented um, you don't look like you just had a baby you look like you just finished dancing <laughs> and you know it didn't feel like I just finish having a baby. In fact, on our way home, when we were driving home, my husband said, it feels like we just went to the store to pick up this baby. And I laughed, and my mom, who went with us to the birthing center, she laughed too, because that is what it felt like. Um, we were home, we left the house to go to the birthing center about 2.30, 3 o'clock. We got home, um, we were home by 9 that night. Uh, I was home just in time for scandal. Um, actually, it wasn't 9, it was maybe 9.30 because I had just enough time to come in the house, get the baby settled, um, nurse him, and watch Scandal. So, it was pretty perfect. Um, the labor itself, uh, we were at the birthing center for two and a half hours before I started pushing. The pushing part lasted maybe 10 or 15 minutes, so I say it was, I round up, it was close to three hours on uh, the whole process, and the baby was out. Uh, we had a water, water birth, and it was amazing. And so, some things that I think contributed to it was yoga. Um, this is my second child. My first child, I did yoga, but I did it mostly on my own, and this time I went to a class once a week, and no matter how I felt, I showed up at that class. Um, it was every Sunday. Uh, one Sunday, I missed it, the class on Sunday because of my baby shower. We held it on a Sunday. And so I went to class on Saturday. <laughs> so I was dedicated. Um, I didn't feel like going. Most days, I didn't feel like going. I was too tired. I just, I didn't want to go. I felt lazy. I wanted to stay home and rest and lay in the bed and you know, I would get myself up and I would make myself go to class anyway. So, um, I think yoga class made a huge difference. When I went to class, it, the structure of the class, I think, made me practice yoga on a different level than I did with my first um, pregnancy. Uh, my teacher pushed me in ways that I didn't push myself when I was pregnant the first time. So for me, going to a class meant more structure, it meant showing up, it meant doing it for an hour every time, and it meant um, being in the moment every time I did the yoga. And it also meant pushing myself. Um, there were times my teacher would be like, okay, hold this pose. And I was thinking, woman, you are crazy. <laughs> I don't want to do this, but I did it anyway because I was in a class setting. So I think that's different than when you're at home and you're doing a video, um, you know, on the television, or you're at home and doing your own poses. I think we tend to give ourselves a break. Whereas when we're in a public setting, at least for me this is true, I will push myself more. So actually going to yoga class was a huge, huge benefit for me. Um, I think that was amazing because during the labor, when I would have an intense contraction, my husband would be like, did you just have a contraction? Like he would still be talking to me. My mom would be talking to me. And I eventually had to tell them, look, when I get quiet, that means I'm having a contraction. But I wasn't making a whole lot of noise. I wasn't making a, I wasn't doing a lot to indicate to them that I was experiencing a contraction. So I think that was, you know, that's pretty good. <laughs> 
that they didn't there were times they didn't even know I was having a contraction because I was managing them so well um, my midwife also said that with each contraction she could literally see the move the baby moving down like she said each one of my contractions were so effective toward getting me um, getting the baby here so I thought that was pretty amazing too in fact when I got in the car my midwife hugged me and she was just like that was one of the best births I've ever seen um, you you were a star you did great and you know of course that made me feel great so yoga was a huge contributing factor I'm um, walking you don't have to do a whole bunch of intense exercise when you're pregnant but at least try to walk. I did a lot of walking. I took my daughter to the play to, to, to the playground and also to the park. And um, chasing her around those last few months was not fun. <laughs> I smiled and laughed and tried to make it fun for her, but they weren't fun. It wasn't fun for me. But um, I did it anyway. And thank God I had a toddler this time to keep me active. Because I think it's so important to be active, especially that last month. And, you know, let's be honest, mamas, we don't always want to be active. And sometimes we just want to lay in the bed. And, um, you know, sometimes we need that. We need to rest, too. So don't mistake it that I'm trying to tell you to be active the whole time. But on a regular basis, a few times a week, it's important to be active. And it's important to be honest about whether you're active. <laughs> so um, I think, you know, really being active this time was was especially helpful and um another thing that's super super helpful is that um i did a lot of hypnosis and meditation cds specifically for birth and i'll link to a few of those below but it was when i was having contractions and they felt intense um i think the yoga helped me to stay in my body and to really take deep deep breaths and the um, hypnosis CDs really helped me stay focused. Like instead of the first birth, I remember thinking, I can't do this, I can't do this. This time during this birth, I was so strong. Like I just felt like I can do this, I can do this. Kiana, you can do this, you're doing a great job. Like I was telling myself so many positive things. And I really think it's a result of constantly listening to affirmations constantly affirming how great I was going to be in labor when, during my pregnancy because when you're in labor is not the time to try to say positive affirmations they have to already be in your mind you have to already train yourself to think positively um, it doesn't start when you're in labor it has to be, it has to have been an ongoing process in order for it to show up for you during labor and that's what my husband said after birth he was like you were so strong you were so focused and i really think the meditation cds are what helped with that 